And, you know, when, when you look at it too, uh, you know, even if you take the Christian God, for example, right, is he's not one that um, is intending, like he, we, you still made, well, depending on what, I guess, Christian circle you come from, right. Whether or not free will exists, but you come into this with free will, right. If humans innately have free will, then they have the choice to choose something or not choose another thing. And so if you come into it from a theocracy standpoint, where you're pushing down the throat to the people through your political agendas, um, exactly what uh whatever your religion kind of states as factual or as belief um then or whatever your religion states that then then all of a sudden you get into kind of some pretty dicey waters of imposing this belief versus proposing it making it something that's freely right. chosen right but you know what they right, say well, and, yeah go ahead, go ahead. I, was, I, was, <laughs> I was bringing it back to the abortion yeah. thing right yeah. like we have you know and I, I don't believe in I just to say I don't believe abortion is right. I don't think that's just my yeah. my personal opinion. I understand there's nuances to it. Abortion should be illegal. Yeah. See, I was just gonna right. say that. I was just gonna say that. Like that's where that that's where my mind goes, and I'm like, huh. I actually it gets your it gets your noggin turn in a little bit as right. to okay, do you make a law? Have you had some conversations about this? Do you make a law enacting something like that? Right. Uh, from a legal standpoint, obviously, right. I'm I'm pro life. Right. I'm I'm against abortion. One hundred percent. Is it? And I'm just posing the question, not as a personal thought, but is it right to have the state make a law ruling that out because it is necessarily what I hold to be true? And I think where you get into that now this is the conservative side of that argument, right? Go to the other side. If we want to be consistent with that logic, it's got to apply to this other side as well, too. It can't be somebody who's saying, well, no, because I believe abortion, then it necessarily has to be enacted by law that people have the ability to get an abortion. Because then you're you're kind of right. on the opposite side, same problem, right? But I don't know, what, yeah. what are your thoughts on that? that? That's something that's rattled my brain a little bit. Yeah, so the reason, so let me just, my reasoning behind that i'm 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 anti-abortion yeah i don't believe abortion is is a human right i don't think so i don't think that that's and that's just because i i i see life as starting from conception there's a lot of people out there that would disagree with me and that's fine yeah but i would also not be for a law against abortion because i'm Mm pro-life because when you outlaw something like that a, a very complex dangerous medical procedure yeah you're gonna go to back to back alley coat hanger abortions yeah and women are gonna start losing their lives because of it right and that and that's a problem that's not pro-life yeah right so if and i also don't think it's pro-life to try to enact punishment on people for having an abortion yeah right i don't think that's okay either so and and part of it too is because ab- something like abortion is not something that's going to be solved by policy. Sure, it's a it's it's a personal. It's a know, heart thing. Conviction. It's a heart thing, right? And yeah, standing outside of an abortion clinic with a sign that says, "You know, you're going to hell" or "murderer," <laughs> that's not solving the problem either. <laughs> Yeah. Right. And, no. you know, that's not OK either. And shaming people who get it. And, you know, but, um, you know, it's such a complicated issue. Because there's a lot of emotion tied up in it. Totally. Right. There's, there's and, there, and, we've, and we've come to these extremes on it. Right. Where if you're against abo- there's a lot of people out there that hear, hear me say I'm against abortion. And he, what they hear is I am that I'm against uh, women's health rights. Oh, you're against women who have been raped, Louis. Let's just go right. straight to Which it. Which I'm not. I understand there's a lot of really yeah. complicated circumstances surrounding uh, b- abortion, right? That there is, you know, there's a lot of that. Um, and and I have deep compassion for people that are in those situations. Yeah. I would never, ever tell one of them what to do with that. That's, yeah. that's your personal thing. Yeah. Right? And that's why I'm against the law yeah. that says you can't do that. Right? I would I would love for you to keep that baby. Uh, and but on the other side of it, back to the church, what are we doing to support the women who do keep the baby? Sure. 
right? What are we doing? We're not, you know, we're not doing enough. We do some, we're not, but we're not doing enough. There, the last I saw a stat a few years ago, and I would have to fact check it, but sure. I think I did at the time, and it was it was about right. Um, but that there was about uh, it was like I said a few years ago, so these numbers may be off now. Um, but there was about four hundred fifty thousand kids in foster in the foster care that were eligible for adoption in the United States. Mm-hmm. There were also right around four hundred fifty thousand churches in the United States. If each church pulled their resources and adopted one of those children, there would be no more orphans in the United States. Yeah. Crazy. You know, that's, and, and, but it would take that because abortion is, I mean, not abortion, but adoption is expensive. Like yeah. It's ridiculously expensive to adopt. 100%. It's not easy. Right. And so those are other things that we need to address is how do we fix the adoption system? How do we fix the foster care system? Yeah. Right. If we're going to be pro-life, then we need to go tackle those things too. Totally. Right. We can't just be against abortion. We have to be pro pro uh, reform in these other areas because we're not making it easy for the people who do keep the baby. Um, and, and abortions are down by the way. Yeah. Just as a fun fact, abortions nice. are down. Yeah. yeah. And a couple of years ago I saw another stat that was crazy because you know, we always want to talk about abstinence and waiting till marriage is ways to solve the abortion issue. 50% of the people who got abortions were married. Yeah. That's the crazy part. I saw that. Yeah. What do you do with that? Now, what's interesting you know, what too, you when you look at those stats too, the largest percentage of abortions too are from low-income, poverty-stricken families. So people who feel right. like they can't actually support a child. And uh, yep. so there's again, you're just you're pointing out a lot of really good points of these are issues that we need to talk about and address. It's not just something that solves with hey, just stop abortions. It's it's yeah. It seems to be That's- more. That there's more nuance to support that needs to be had in order to lessen um, that yep. number, if that makes and, sense. And what a great place, what a great place that would be for the church to step in. Yeah. And not say you're condemned because you got an abortion. Mm-hmm. But we're here to support you in whatever way we can. Right? We're here to show you the love of Jesus. Yep. We're here to show you that, that, that you, what you do or what you know, what you have done is not you're not you're not condemned for that but you're you're, you're accepted into a family yep. that loves you yeah right and there is a god that loves you and there is a savior that gave his life for you mm-hmm. right and i mean what a great place for us to be able to step in and do that but instead we're known for being against those people yeah right and condemning those people yeah and and that breaks my heart and I, I I believe that it breaks the heart of Christ as well. Hey everyone, thank you so much for checking out this clip from the Practical Theism Podcast. If you enjoyed this clip and you want to check out the full episode, you can do so by finding it on our YouTube channel. Definitely consider subscribing and ringing that little bell so you can continue to get updates and notifications when we release new episodes and new clips just like this one. I hope to see you soon.